History shows that storm frequency and intensity is greatest in colder periods. The extreme weather of the Little Ice Age provides a good example. The storms were much more dramatic. The storms would come in and wipe out villages along the northern coast, 400,000 people at a time, a storms not seen since. If you take the long-term 500-year average, the maximum number of cyclones and storm surges in flooding in Western Europe was during that cold episode. After last year's Florida hurricane season, many people fear such events will become more frequent as the earth warms. Till few years ago, I believed that uh, as the, during warmer conditions, we'll have stronger cyclones. But as I look at observational data, it's showing exactly the opposite. Wherever we look, for reasons we do not quite understand yet, actually there are more cyclones when the atmosphere is a bit cooler than when it is warmer. Since 1980, not a single weather record has been set in terms of global cyclones. But what about fears of catastrophic sea level changes that, we are told, will soon submerge small islands, such as the Maldives in the Indian Ocean? That based on our most precise measurements, nothing unusual is happening. Again, some locations sea levels are rising, some locations they are falling. I have written a few papers also about Maldives, various aspects, and I do not see any evidence that anything unusual is happening in Maldives that cannot be attributed to natural climate variability. The background increase in sea level rise has been about 20 centimeters per century for the last few thousand years. There is no scientific evidence whatsoever that this background rate is increasing. So what causes climate change? Recent research indicates that the causes are mostly natural and in many cases not even originating on Earth. There is much new evidence showing the sun has cycles over centuries. The Earth has warmings and coolings that follow in step with the sun. The sun's changes is one reason why the Earth has climate change. In our research, we are showing the excellent correlation between the regular fluctuations in the brightness of the sun and earthly temperatures. And hundreds of other studies have shown similar trends. There are so many things that affect climate. And some exciting news is that probably the galaxy affects climate as well. The galaxy affects the climate of Earth. Trying to understand the causes of climate change is akin to putting together an extraordinarily complex jigsaw puzzle in which we are still missing many key pieces. We haven't even got all the edge pieces and we really haven't got some of the corner pieces. For example, the oceans. Our knowledge about deep ocean circulation where you can have huge amounts of heat energy stored for up to 10,000 years.